this is the brand new Anker 22 kilowatt smart home charger. And here is the EO7. See there, it's charging off solar, but you can, of course, charge off the batteries as well, if you want to. Lee, what's the ROI on solar and batteries now versus five years ago? Okay. Has, if, it, has it improved? Yeah, significantly. So the systems that we're installing now with the cheaper home battery program, is we're looking at about a seven to eight year return, including the batteries for the whole system, solar and batteries. Uh, seven, seven to eight year return. Yeah, seven okay. to eight year return is, is much lower on a solar only system. Yeah. Uh, the batteries are still the larger part of that technology on the cost. Okay. Um, several years ago though, if you're installing batteries as an early adopter, you're looking at about a 15 year return on investment. And you would, we, we would recommend to a lot of customers if you're looking to install batteries to save money, you're better off saving your money another couple of years because there'll be rebates yeah. and yeah. Uh, pricing. And, th and that's happened. And now with the uptake of batteries on scale in Australia, it's allowing manufacturers to bring more product into country, yep. which they're getting cost efficiencies of scale as well. So we're seeing a double impact there of both uh, manufacturer discounts as well as the home battery program rebates. So the amount of time is, is it's, it's really more of a situation where in the past you were saying for a lot of people don't die by the battery. Now you're saying, okay, it's economically feasible. So that it's entirely changed the situation. 100%. Yeah, okay. best time to buy a battery is now. Um, and installing solar with it. We're seeing a lot of customers upgrading their solar systems, adding a battery now that they can spread that usage across the whole day. Yep. Uh, we're also seeing customers that have had an older system completely replacing that system. It is depending on their roof space availability, it is some customers are better off um, replacing and upgrading the entire technology. So we're looking at upcycling programs for those panels um, where they can be put to further use rather than into recycling. Could distributed batteries replace coal and gas peaker plants, do you think? In not just Australia, but other countries as well? Yeah, it's a really good question. And ultimately they can and they will. It'll take a while to get there. Yep. Um, one of the challenges with the 100% renewables is we're electrifying everything at the same time. So our consumption requirements- Oh, electricity is increasing. Yeah, yeah, so as everyone goes to EVs, is you're replacing uh, oil and gas as well. Yep. So with uh, renewable technologies. And then as AI ramps up, we're seeing the huge data centers and the electricity demand that they've got. So there is a huge electrification. We're replacing gas within households with whole home electrification as well. So you've got a lot of infrastructure to upgrade, in some cases replace as well, to yep. handle this. Yep. So it's not a single decade transition. Um, we're already a couple of decades into the transition. It's going to take another uh, one to two decades. I think that's a good analysis on timeline. Depending on, you know, some countries are faster than others and yeah, it's a good um How does virtual power plant uh, participation pay off for homeowners? How does it, a lot of people don't understand what a VPP is and how a virtual power plant works. Could you just explain that? So, so if you look at the grid as a whole, you've got large generation assets at the moment, coal plants, etc. Yep. Yep. So when you put a solar system with a battery on your home, it's a micro generation plant. And a VPP is a virtual power plant that allows, say, a thousand homes to aggregate their battery and solar capacity yep. and compete in the markets as if they are a coal fired generator. Okay. So if you've got a thousand homes with a 20 kilowatt hour battery each, you've suddenly got 20 megawatts of dispatchable power. Yeah. So then when the wholesale markets hit really high prices, um, the energy retailer that you partner with for your VPP program yep. can dispatch power into the grid and you share in that profit from it. So it means uh, the shoe's on the other foot, you get to sell your electricity back for premiums. We've all seen feed-in tariffs for a number of years and although they have come back in price, that represents the um, high amount of renewable energy on the grid during the day, creating very low spot market prices. Yeah, so you're not yeah. getting much for your solar going back into the grid. Not so much for your solar yeah. during the day, but uh, it's, it's a 37 degree day here in, uh, in Stockton at the moment. So often when you get really hot days, there's a huge demand on the grid with air conditioning and everyone yeah. using a lot more power indoors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can get really high wholesale prices during summer, 
that if you do have solar feeding into the grid and a battery that can dispatch even more power, is you can profit off that significantly. Is Saudi Arabia, is Australia the Saudi Arabia? Are we basically like um, the Saudi Arabia of renewables, or could we be? Could we be? Yeah. Yeah, there's, uh, there's different projects like Sun Cable looking to export solar power overseas. Yeah, yeah. Um, significant logistical exercise. But we do get more solar irradiation here, which is sunshine falling on the ground in Australia, a higher amount than anywhere else in, in the world. So we have fantastic natural sunlight and resource, and all energy ultimately comes from the sun, either uh, past sun or present sun. So capturing that on the way through and using it for our own power needs um, potentially for others as well, is... Could, could work, right? Because we've got a lot of desert. Yeah. We've got a lot of empty, useless land. Yep. Um, yeah. Certainly solving for our own needs first. Um, yeah. Then there's the potential <laughs> yeah. for some exporting of power. Um, but it is logistically challenging. And when you consider every other country has sunlight falling on them, true. is true, capturing true, true, true. And then you've got to send it across. It's going to cost... Yeah, money. correct. So the Sun yeah. Cable project was for Singapore. Yeah. Um, now they've got very little land footprint compared to population. True. Yeah. So. Most solar panels, right, are made in China. Not many are made outside of China. My panels are Chinese. Most of the, most of them are. Why are these Chinese solar companies dominating? Why are they? Um, why do they have most of the market? So that's the same with uh, almost any technology product now. Most things are manufactured in China because they've got that huge scale of capability um, and low input costs as well. So we always say that the, the very best products in the world come out of China and so do some of the very worst products. <laughs> so product selection, product quality is the differentiator there. Yeah. Is Apple laptops, Apple iPhones, for years they've been manufactured out of China and they're yeah. fantastic products. Yeah. Um, so product selection and manufacture, manufacturing standards are really important. Um, but I know you've toured over in China and you've seen yeah. some of these factories and they're just so massive in scale compared to yeah. anything that we see in Australia. Right and it's just such supportive that's been their um, major exporters is all the technology products and manufacturing for the rest of the world. So they've got huge scale. They've got massive contributions from the government um, for funding and financing. Is As an Australian business person and entrepreneur to raise the necessary capital to compete with a Chinese manufacturer, very, very difficult. Is yeah. And I remember speaking to um, CEOs over there of manufacturing plants and where they um, receive their grant funds or uh, operating capital. And a lot of it is government-based funds, yeah. Um, yeah. government banks, and yeah, 